In this video, we're going to take a look at the three main backup types that you're most likely to come into play uh, or, or to work with. We're going to talk about the full, the differential, and the transaction log. Now, there are other types of backups. There's two other types of backups that you might come into contact with. But until you probably get into the 200 gig to 400 gig space, uh, you're probably not working with those. Uh, so we're just going to focus on the three more common full differential and transaction log. Now before we get started, we are working with Scott's DB here. And this is just a very simple database. Uh, it's a 200 megabyte database with both the data file and the transaction log being about equal. And you can see there's no data in between these. If you have not seen this view before, I've highlighted the database and I've told it I'd like to see the taskpad view. Now I'm going to go to the query analyzer and I'm going to run a script that will create a table in Scott's DB called Big Table. And that table has a single column that is 8,000 characters wide. And so we're going to, we want to add some rows to it. And so we tell it to, hey, Scott, how many characters is that going to store in wide column? The full 8,000. That's why I'm using the car data type. I want us to be able to visually see as we add these rows to the table. Before we get started. Uh, if we come over here and take a look at the tables, you'll see big table is here. And so I'm going to take a backup of Scott's DB. And I'm just going to go through and do a couple of backups here to give us some ideas of how things work. If you have not taken a look at the backup videos, that's totally okay. Um, you might find it helpful at the end of this video to take a look up on LearnSQLServer.com or LearnSQLServer2000.com for the specifics of the backups. Here, I'm just going through them really quickly. I'm not covering options. We're only giving a real quick intro to how things work here. So I'm going to tell it I want to back up a database. And I'm going to tell it I want a database complete. And I'm going to call this um, MyBackups.BAK. Oh, actually, we'll call this uh, Full1 so that we can track this as we go. And I'm going to say OK. It's very quick because there's no real data in the actual file. Now we can see under the maintenance it's taken a backup right there. So let's go over here and let's write the uh, three most common types of SQL Server backups here. And we'll start with the full. And we'll have the differential. I'll write that out as the diff. And we'll have the transaction log. And most of the time, you'll see me writing that as a log backup. Now, that's not the transaction log itself. I'm talking about a transaction log backup. Okay. So let's go with the full. When you take a full database backup, you're taking a complete picture, if you will, of your entire database. Uh, and when you take that backup, you're now backing up the tables, the data, the indexes, and all objects in the database, including the system tables, the system stored procedures, your stored procedures, your triggers, everything, everything. There are no other external uh, things that SQL Server is going to have your data in. You've got to think of a database as an autonomous unit. Uh, it's completely self-contained. So when we take a full database backup, it contains everything you need to restore that database on another system. So everything you need is included if you need to restore onto another system. And I say another system, another SQL Server. Now also included is the file information file names, the uh, sizes, locations, properties of the files as well. So all of that is included in the full database backup. And it is so complete that, as it says, I can take a full database backup from my SQL Server. I could send it to you. You could restore that on your machine, okay, on your SQL Server. 